Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Scarlet Thread Ministries Times of Refreshing right here on our Facebook page. We just like to take this opportunity to invite each and every one of you to come and join with us as we discuss God's Word this afternoon. And, um, you know, as we discuss it, we just pray and um, declare, not even hope. We pray and we declare that you will be touched by the Word, that your heart will be comforted, you'll, be, you'll find hope. And um, not just hope, but you'll find hope um, in the Lord. Hope to meet him one day. Hope that there's life after death. Not even hope in life after death, but knowing there's eternal life in Christ Jesus, right? Uh, we really pray that um, doubts will be cleared in your minds as the studies unfold. And um, you know that y'all will get a lot of clarity in certain in the area that we are discussing last week, we, last week we actually discussed the gospel. Um, no, sorry, it was Jesus Christ. Last week was um, I watching the week before. <laughs> last week we discussed um, Jesus Christ. You could go back and check um, and, and and use a different laptop last week. That's why I'm watching my old um. My old, my old when you have too much, <laughs> that's when you have too much. <laughs> Yeah, because I change any date and I see him, but yeah. two weeks fly already, something wrong. But anyways, I don't remember, I um I changed laptops last week. Anyways, so I'm going to open up with a word of prayer and then we'll start. Heavenly Father, we just bless your name this afternoon, oh God. Lord, we just thank you for health, for strength. We thank you for life. We thank you for um family, for friends, oh God. Lord, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, and his completed work on the cross, oh God, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all our viewers, even right now, oh God, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you go and meet them at their place of need tonight, oh God, Lord. You meet them at their place of doubt, even, oh God, Heavenly Father. And Lord God, we pray, oh God, that you touch their minds, you touch their hearts. And definitely, oh God, at the end of this broadcast, that they will feel refreshed by your word, oh God, by the washing of your word, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we thank you tonight for doing a great work, oh God. And we just dedicate this broadcast into your hands. And we say, just have your way tonight to God, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So last um, Sunday, gone, you have spoken um, on when Jesus called. Mm -hmm. But I didn't tell you anything. I didn't uh -huh. tell you anything to, um, since that day or that day or whatever it is. But that was supposed to be the discussion um, mm -hmm. we have in today. Okay. Call of Jesus Christ. But I still keep the same um, script here and everything. But I will talk about, um, today I will talk about um, why follow Jesus. Right. Or why people follow Jesus. <clears throat> why people follow Jesus. Right. That's the, uh, and that's where it is. But you say in the call. So I was saying um, last week, I, um, I, I, it's Thursday, since Thursday I have this prepared. <laughs> so, well, I said, you know, I say, um, say why, why people follow Jesus? Because he called them, right? So that's right, why they call, yeah. them, because they call them. So I end up go, um, um, changing up a little bit and thing, and I say, why people follow Jesus? You know, I want to talk about why people has follow Jesus. People follow Jesus for a lot of different reasons, eh? Um, <clears throat> some call him because he call, they, they, they call him and he call them and things like that. But I, I'm glad you have spoken on, on that on Sunday. It means that the Holy Spirit is really, and, and we both, when you prepare a message for Sunday morning, we, we don't discuss it. None of us, I don't know what it is you're speaking about. And when I prepare a discussion for Wednesday, you don't know what I'm speaking about. So it means that uh, we give the Holy Spirit a chance for him to do what he wants to do. And to a minister to whoever he wants to minister, so that you know it, it was yeah. song like if it was song like if we 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 converse and we and we and we planning and 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 discussing a particular topic. But I feel and that is what the Holy Spirit wants the people here on Sunday. And I thought the, and the message was excellent. I thought it was timely and I thought it was relevant to what is happening in the world today. Right. So yeah. I am. Um, I, I love the message. Also and also in the same kind of train of thought. That you started two weeks ago. Yeah, right. So it's not a matter. It's, it's not the like... same train of thought. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So, so it, I feel like it was a continuation of, 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 you know, the son of God himself, Jesus Christ. You yeah. know? And, and, it was and, the and same kind of train of thought, same trail, you know, relating to it. And I didn't even yeah. plan to plan on doing that, you know, but I said it fit in good. Yeah. It fit and, in well. And, and you see, and you see today I want to speak to non-Christians eh, or people who 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 have make up their mind yet. Um, if they are politics, they say we want to um and we want to why target follow the, Jesus the, Christ? Why follow yeah, Jesus Christ? Why people follow Jesus Christ? With that question, mm -hmm. man. And you see the politicians say we you know one party already have the supporters, the other party have their supporters, but we targeting the undecided. But I, I I'm not ta targeting undecided or, or anything. I, and while I was preparing this, this a discussion and studying faith, I, I wanted to find out why people, not why Christians. Originally I was thinking why Christians follow Jesus, but it's why people follow Jesus Christ. And I'm not um you, you know speaking. Uh, you know, to try and convince anybody, but I just want to talk about Jesus Christ to people who really don't know him, who can't make up their mind, people who, and you know, they, and they just don't know. And, and, and those who follow him for particular reasons to show them where they're following him for the wrong reasons. And, and, and that is why I am, you know, I, and that is the thought I had, the mindset I had while preparing on this discussion, why people follow Jesus. And as I say, I was thinking more along the lines of people who don't know him. Right. And you know what I'm saying? People who don't know mm -hmm. him and why follow him? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for those who don't know, um, know him. And there are many reasons why people follow Jesus. So one of the reasons many people follow Jesus is because they have an a, a urgent need that he alone could meet. And you know, um, mm -hmm. everywhere Jesus went, he, 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 the, you know, the, the sick and the demon possessed were brought to him. So people follow Jesus because they have a need. I have a financial problem, so I, 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 I will go to church. I will go and pray to Jesus and I'll think and ask him to help me. I yeah. know they follow me because they have a need. Everybody have a need. And, and you can tell from the way people pray to, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to heal my finances. Heal my, that he, and they're praying and they're following him because they have a need. And every time people pray to Jesus, it's because they have a need and, and, they, and they bring in and they need him. Now, nothing is wrong with that. Yeah, and I think it's wrong with that. And you know, that's what I'm saying. But people fall mm -hmm. him just because they have a need. I, and you know what I'm saying? And yeah. then some people fall him for sensationalism. You, you know, they want to see the signs and the miracles and feel a thrill of excitement. Um, some of the people in the past follow Jesus because they want to see the miracles. According to um, according to and this fellow um, who have the church and write up from by us now. Um, uh huh. Um, um yeah. A pastor, whatever his name is, he said miracles. The other was following Jesus for the miracles, mm -hmm. but it's for the miracles, the excitement to see people walk, to see the, the lame heal. But they, they, and, and they really follow him, following him for who he is. They just follow him because they want to see yeah. what's going on. I want to see people get healed. I want to see if anybody will get healed. Some people go to crusades and they just see what will happen. Yeah, for sensationalism, for the excitement. Now, what kind of excitement they want to. Follow him for the excitement, and that's why some people follow Jesus for mm -hmm. excitement. Some follow him because they need, as I said before, and then some follow him because they want to discredit him. The the the, the religious people in the in, in the old days, um, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and them follow Jesus to discredit him, and to find fault in him, and, and that's why they follow him. You know? Everywhere yeah. he go, the Sadducees and yeah. Pharisees, yeah, yeah, you hear what he say, um, um, and, and they tell people, go and hear what he says, so we go condemn him. So some was following him to discredit him, and, and you know, and and there are many reasons why why you know they, they, and they're trying to discredit him for selfish reasons because they, and they felt threatened in the religion, um, and I say in the religion because Jesus Christ is not a is not is not into religion, he is into life, but his disciples, Jesus' disciples, followed him because they genuinely believed he was the Messiah, the very Son of God. And you know, and, and the commitment went beyond emotions only. They wanted to know Jesus uh, or Christ or Jesus Christ and walk closely with him. And there are people who follow him because of that. I believe one of the reasons I know, and, and I believe I know the reason why I follow him is because of that, because he's the Christ, he's the Messiah. He, and you understand what I'm saying? And when at a certain time, when, when the disciples were following yeah. Jesus and he tell them, well, here what happened. If you eat my blood, my, my flesh and drink my blood, right? And, you, um, and you'll have everlasting life. 
And a lot of disciples, the Bible says, a lot of disciples left them that day. And they said it was a hard saying to eat his flesh and drink his blood. But they didn't understand who he was. Yeah. But in John 6 and 68, when and Jesus had them, so, oh, let's tell you what's going on. And, and it was Simon Peter tell him. The, and the Bible says, then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words, uh, um, thou hast the, 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 the words to eternal life. Verse 69. And we believe and are sure. We believe and are sure that thou art Christ, the son of the living God. So I, I, I don't expect people who don't know Jesus personally or, 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 or don't have a relationship with him. Some of them would fall in for that. But once they get to know Jesus Christ, personally, you would know, you, you would believe, and you would be sure. Because what happened, a lot of us who have been following Jesus for years, even my, myself, because of my age and because of the amount of years I grew up with Jesus, talking to him, praying to him, um, being on, 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 you know, on, on educated in how to deal with him. I don't have any knowledge. And then as I grow um, and, and I mature as a Christian, I, 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 I started speaking to him different, speaking to God um, different and giving him more praise and asking him for something because I have a need. And what happened now, the more time you spend with him is the more you are convinced that he, uh, uh, that, that, that he is the Christ, son of the living God. And, you know, and then he would ask himself, where would go? What other religion I will follow? Who other Lord exactly. I have? Exactly. I have no other Lord but Jesus Christ. I can't go anywhere else because no one has fulfilled that void I had in my heart and in my soul over the years than Jesus Christ. True. And True. And, you know, and I could, be, you know, I'm talking to you, a feeling and the presence of God inside yeah. me. And, yeah. and, and, and because we're speaking about the Son of the Living God, He is yeah. the Christ. He is the Messiah, and I am sure that He is the Messiah because He has proven Himself many times. And last week I spoke about how God was consistent. How God was faithful, he, he, and you know, yeah. um, when um, the Bible in, the, in, in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy and described God as God of the and the God of faith, um, and not God of yes, the God of faith, which means He is consistent, He is trust, uh, trustworthy, He's trusting. Where else can I go? Which other God I could praise and worship? Jesus Christ has proven Himself to me over and over over the years, not only with me but with my children and. And many things, I, I, I sometimes I feel bad if I have to ask him for something because he has done so much for me. Yeah. He has done so much for me and I know and I believe and I am sure that he is the Christ, son of the living God. Why people follow him? And you don't follow him because you have a need. Yes, and that is a byproduct um, or, 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 or another reason and you follow him. Um, and because, you, and you, you know, if you follow him, I mean, you wouldn't need the excitement because every day is excited day with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Every day, morning by morning, new mercies I see. And with Jesus, every morning, I've seen so many things happen to me, and that is why I follow him. I don't follow him, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not telling people why they should follow him, but I'm telling them based on my experience and, and my, and my testimony that he has proven over and over again that he is the Christ. And I am sure of that. I, I, you know, um, as, as I was saying, a lot of people follow Jesus. Uh, for, for different reasons, but and Jesus called some people. He called some people, and He's calling even now to some people who are not responding, right? And let's look at some ways of how Jesus called people. Now, in Matthew four and nineteen, right? Peter and his brother Andrew was well, was fishing and they had a net and thing, and then fishing in in in, in um on, on the on the um on the lake, right? And they fishing out in the lake, um um. And they just the call it and Galilee, the Sea of Galilee, but it was um, Lake Tiberias. So two of them fishing outside there and Jesus passing. And, they, and, and those are the first two men. And this is what he's saying. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Follow me. He's telling yeah. him to follow. But he didn't yeah. call everybody the same way. Be, be, sure. because that word follow there. When he called Peter and, them, and that word follow. It's two Greek words he used which has never been used in his call to people. It's duty or piso. And the duty is an exclam exclamatory word. It's an exclamation. Come here. Come here. Come. So he's calling them. You know, if, if, if he was writing, 
a right in the dog, it would have had an exclamation mark behind it, right? And and um, Opiso is 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 is, is come after me, come, come here after me, and that's what he telling them, right? He telling them come here after me. That is me, M O U. Right. Me is Mo is 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 we and literally I mean me, me. But and you see, a lot of people don't understand an exclamatory word or exclamatory word, right? They are with that generation and, and generate that small, a strong emotional response. Come after me. Come behind me. Come. Come follow me. And I translate for me, but he's saying, come here after me. So, and Jesus says, call them people, but it's only, it's only um, Peter and Andrew he call like that, right? And straight away, the Bible says in verse 20, straight away they left their nets and follow him. Yeah. Following you. And it would go on in verse 21 to say, and going from thence, he saw two other brethren, two other brethren, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother. That is John. We know John, the, 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 the apostle whom he loved. He saw the both of them in a ship with their, uh, Zebedee, their father, mending their nets, and he called them. He called them. And, 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 and the Bible say he called them. That, and that word call is to utter in a loud voice, come. Yeah, you understand? Come, yeah. Come. Right? <laughs> At the root of that word is an order, you know, a command, come. Yeah. And immediately they left the ship and their father and follow him. So some people, Jesus called it with a, with a strong, audible voice, come after me. But the only time in the Bible that those two words he called Peter with the exclamation was the, is, is the first and only time. Everything else, right, is, 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 is um, Kuleo, right? Mm -hmm. Kuleo. So, so what happened here? We call you, come after me. I went a loud voice. Now, I'm sure Jesus is calling a lot of people. He's calling a lot of people, but, but and they're not answering, and they're not leaving um, and, and the, 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 the ship or the boat. They're not leaving their business. They're not leaving anything immediately to mm. follow after him. Mm -hmm. But Jesus is calling. As, as you rightly said, Sunday morning, and Jesus is calling. He's calling. Yeah. And he is really calling now because I could sense the presence of God inside here. I could sense the presence of the anointing inside this place. Yeah. Right? yeah. Because he, I, I know he confirmed his word with signs and wonders. Yeah. And people who hear this discussion supposed to accept the call. Do just sit down there. Look how the world going. Jesus yeah, is exactly. Last chance. <laughs> tomorrow you might even make it. Right? You, you might even see tomorrow, but this is the time. This is the day. This is the accepted time. Mm -hmm. Right? In Matthew 10 and verse 1, the Bible says, and when, and at that time he called the 12 disciples, right? <clears throat> he called the 12 disciples, he said, and, and the Bible says, and when he called them, he called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. That word they call is not like with Peter and the other apostles, right? That word they used to call to himself. So first he called them to come behind me, to follow me. Then this call here now, uh, is, 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 and they call them to himself, uh, for him to give them, the, you know, to empower them. Right? Yeah. He called them to empower them. So he called them, and that is one call. But all those words are different. So we read the Bible now, we say, and he called, and he called. But if you study the Greek, you will see where it's different calls, or different calling. And you see what I'm saying? First, yeah. he's calling it to him in Matthew mm -hmm. 8 and 22. And that's what Jesus is saying, right? But Jesus said unto him, and that's, the, um, that's a, a, a disciple talking to Jesus. The disciple talked to him and he said, Lord, let me go and bury my father now. And yeah. I'll come back. But Jesus is saying, follow me and let mm -hmm. the dead bury dead, uh, um, their dead. Right? Yeah. This is a different kind of calling. You know? and, call yeah. and, and, and that means to follow me, right? To join him as his, as, his, as his attendant. Remember I spoke about that a time when Jesus called. He said to follow me. Follow me as an attendant. To accompany me, accompany me, right? Mm -hmm. But the media now is not M-O... We are his disciples. You can understand. Hear what he's saying. Right, come and I, which I possess. That's what I, I would mean, you know, that which I have.
says that right and the bible says he, he, to, to, to follow that which he possessed and that's what we have we don't have jesus christ now in person alive as a man to follow but follow that which he possessed what is that mm -hmm. eternal life follow the holy spirit the leading of the holy spirit he had yeah. the holy spirit without measure right he had yeah. the holy spirit without, uh, without uh, measure so follow that which i possess that's what jesus yeah. calling his disciples to do Follow that which I possess. He called, he called Peter and he called the, some of the other disciples, the, the apostles. That was a, a loud call. So he calls people now to come and follow me. And then he calls people to follow that which I possess. That, that is the disciples he's calling. Come and follow that which I possess. Where's that? Eternal life and the Holy Spirit. <coughs> you mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, while I'm studying this now, I want to talk to some of the people who just follow science. This is something, you, you know, by faith. It is, with, without faith, it is Im impossible to please God. So remember, I told you I was studying this um, topic and the discussion is based on people who is not Christians and, and, uh, and, 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 and who fall in and Jesus Christ. When I say Christians, who is not following and Jesus Christ for the right things on the right way. Mm -hmm. I was reading an article from 2013 from Life Science. July 8, 2013. Life Science posts this. Eh? This is what a Life Science post. Jesus Christ may be the most famous man who ever lived. But how do we know he did? This is, this is Life Science. You know? mm -hmm. How do we oh. know he, he might be the most famous man. But how do we know he did? Yeah. That is the man who changed the calendar. Yeah. He started naming the years after him. Right? Which is 2022. 80 after the death of our Lord. So life science say now, he may be the most famous man who ever lived, but how do we know he did? Here they're going to say, most theological historians, Christian and non-Christian alike, believe that Jesus really did walk the earth. They draw that conclusion from textual evidence, which is the Bible, right? Right. However, rather than from the odd assortment of relics parading as physical evidence in churches all over Europe. That's because from fragments of text are written on bits of parchment to overly abundant chips of wood allegedly salvaged from his crucifix, which is the cross. None of the physical evidence of Jesus' life and death hold up to scientific scrutiny. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. You know why, 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 why that article stands out? We don't need evidence to follow Jesus Christ. Exactly. We don't need to know. We don't need to see a, a, a piece of wood from a crucifix or a shroud of Turin. Or we need to see um, a, 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 a statue bleed. Or we need to see. We or don't need tomb. anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need to see the tomb. Or like the tomb is just a, 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 a thing. We don't need to see all those things to believe that Jesus Christ really lived. We have a personal experience with Jesus Christ of who exactly. he is. Yeah. I more so may have had more spiritual experience with who Jesus Christ is than most people who are more faith than me. Right? And there are people who have not seen and they believe. Greater yeah. is he who have not seen and believe. I have had a lot of spiritual experiences that you know that encourage me or help me have more growing faith and believe that and Jesus evidence. Christ than that he lived. And I admire those people who ain't see and they believe because he yeah. said so. Yeah. So we don't need scientific evidence. We don't need to find out if it really had a flood. We don't need to find out from a cross, a piece of cross that Jesus, or a piece of cloth or a crown of thorns. We don't need to find out from anybody who a word of mouth or, or any other thing to believe that Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. We, uh, we believe because we have a personal experience of who he is. He yeah. never appeared to me. He never, he, 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 he never touched me. I never went to heaven and see him sitting at the right hand of the Father. 
But mm-hmm. I believe, based on the experience <clears throat> I have, and the Holy Spirit who dwell in me because I accept him as Lord by faith, by faith, we believe that, that Jesus Christ is Lord and he lived by faith because without faith it is impossible to please God. Right? And just like Peter and the disciples, I am no for sure that he is the son of the living God and he lived because just as he is, so are we now. Yeah. Sit at the right hand of the Father by faith. What is faith? If you see something, you don't need faith to see it in, in no. person. You don't need um, faith to uh, see the cross that he was crucified on you, uh, 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 in order to, um, to believe. And you don't need no. faith to see um, the clothes he was wrapped in. And you don't need faith to see an angel to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Right? I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, 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 I mean, don't need that. All you need is faith. Mm-hmm. All you True. need is faith. If you have faith, you don't need to see all these things. So people who are trying to prove that Jesus Christ lived by all these physical evidence, that is not what God called us to. By faith, he called us to stand firm and to believe. The kingdom of God, you can't see it is within. Yeah. And you can't look. The, the, the kingdom of, of God don't come through observation. The kingdom of God comes is, 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 is within. And that is how we know that Jesus Christ lived. So nobody can, 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 um, can't say anything. And let me go on to, to show you with some of his disciples too. Matthew 28 and 7, after Jesus appeared to them, followers on, them on, the, on the lake, right? Yeah. He appeared to them. And Matthew 28 and 17 says, And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted in the crew. They was with him when he was alive. They saw him crucified on the cross. And when he rose from the dead, they still doubt. We, who and see him in person, we who are and see him crucified, we who have not seen him and, and uh, um, rose from the dead with the rest of the, uh, um, the disciples, we believe, but yeah. some doubted who see. So you yeah. don't have to believe. The Spirit of the living God is going to bear witness with you. The Spirit bears witness with me that Jesus Christ is Lord. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yes, exactly. Of, yeah. 18 of Matthew 28, and Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power. Is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. And what are you going to say? Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I commanded you. And lo, I am with you even unto the end of the world. Amen. Let's just study that passage for a little while. What was Jesus saying here? What was Jesus saying here? He is saying, Lo, lo, lo means pay attention. Truly, uh, pay attention. Watch, pay attention. Is that word? Lo, that means to pay attention. And lo, I am in the midst of you. Lo, I am with you, which means I am in the midst of you. Eh? Lo, I am with you means I'm in the midst. The Bible says that wherever two or three is gathered in his name, he is in the midst of bless. And he is promised, and, and that is where the promise is from. He said, and lo, pay attention. I am with you. I am in the midst of you. Always, always. You know, always mean, yes, Sarah. Always, mm-hmm. the, the King James of Ambrosian say always, not always, eh? always. Always is two words, pass, he mirror. That word always is translated from two Greek words, pass, he mirror. You know what pass, he mirror is? Any and every day. Hmm. Pass means any or every, and yeah. he mirror means day. So Jesus yeah. said, behold, I am with you every day. Every day I am with you, right? Unt- until the end of the world. Well, world there now means to breathe. It's aeon. It's not, it's not cosmos. It was yeah. speaking about the whole world. The, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Greek word for that is cosmos. K-O-S-M-O-S. But the word they use here, right? Until the end of the world is aeon. A-I-O-N. Aeon. Aeon means to breathe or blow. So here it is. Jesus is saying. He's talking to his disciples here, you know, to us too. And what he is saying. I will be, I will be, I will be with you every day until you stop breathing. Wow. He wasn't speaking to the world there, you know. <clears throat> until the yeah. end of the world or the, the earth or the cosmos, you know, he's talking about until you stop breathing. Right. So when he asked the question, where is Jesus? He's with you. He mm-hmm. promised to be with us every day. Yeah. Every day until we stop breathing. Because aeon means to breathe or blow. Mm-hmm. So I am with you even to the end of your breath. 
That is what yeah. that scripture says there, you know. Matthew 28 and verse 20. That is what it says. Because I'm sorry, it in the Greek. That is what Jesus is saying. He's speaking to his disciples. And he's calling. I'm reiterating. I want you to preach on Sunday morning. Jesus is calling. Yeah. He's yeah. calling all the man. Where yeah. you will wait on. Yeah. Right? Hell is real. Heaven mm -hmm. is real. Paradise is real. Now, when Jesus called, how many call you know he had different responses to his calling eh? mm -hmm. he called people just respond different people just respond different when jesus called and a lot of people are going through that now a lot of people are going through that. matthew 19 and 22 jesus called a rich young ruler he comes to jesus and telling jesus here yeah, now lord what shall i do to inherit eternal life you know what i'm saying yeah so the rich young ruler now come to jesus and say what shall i do and jesus said well do that do this feed the poor he said i do all that I feed the poor, I pay my tithes, I do this and everything. He said, what more can I do? Because Jesus probably perceived, I'm not saying he perceived, I say he probably perceived that the fellow was searching for something more yeah. than the religion he was practicing. Right. He wanted something more than just a basic religion. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus tell him to sell all he have and give to the poor, you know what happened? In verse 22, the Bible said, but when the young man heard that sin, <coughs> he went away sorrowful for he had great possession. Hmm. He had great possessions. The possession. People refuse the call, the response. When Jesus calls some people because they have so many possessions and they feel they'll have to give it up. They yeah. turn their back. They say, nah, boy, nah, 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 boy. I, 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 I can't make that, boy. I work too hard for them thing for me mm -hmm. to give it away. The whole boy. But you see, eternal life. I, I, I study in and I play for YC. You see this life? I go yeah. enjoy this life. So a lot of people, and that's why the Bible says that it's difficult for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. It's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle. What is happening there is that, is that some people now, they, and, and the money or the wealth, the riches is what tie them up. Wealth is what causes a lot of people not to follow Jesus. Because some people in the first place follow Jesus because they want to get wealthy. Yeah. So when they get wealthy now, I tell them, give to the poor. Give what you have to the poor. They say, now nah, they start a hoard. I can't do that, boy. Recession, look how the world going now. I go starve. But you see, what Jesus is doing to the young man is telling them, here what's going on. Trust me. Follow me. Right? And I will provide. Which he yeah. has been doing to, um, to many of us. Mm -hmm. Matthew 9 and 19, another one. And Jesus part forth, forth from thence. And he saw a man named Matthew. Look at Matthew now. Matthew was a tax collector. He saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom. And he said, he said unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. And Matthew went on to say, Lord, I will give back people more than what I take from them as a tax collector because the tax collector and those that used to rob the people taxes. Mm -hmm. Right? Charge more than they should so they go make a profit. So Jesus called him on. And, 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 and look at the response. The man, he arose and followed Jesus. He's, and, 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 and another part of the script, he said, Lord, I will give that man, I will give back the people who I take from them more than what I take from them. So look at the two responses. One have money. Two of them have money. One said, look, I will follow Jesus because he was looking for eternal life. And the other one, yeah. because he had possession, or say, see me, I'm not following Jesus now. And he, he was sorrowful because he knew. Right? He knew. Yeah, you can't serve God and mama. And you can't serve God and money. God bless you so that you could be a blessing to other people not, and not to hold the money. Yeah, true. And look at so many rich people. I know a lot of rich people start to give away... The, the billions of dollars before they die. Mm -hmm. Right? And so they give people money because they realize the, the joy is not in the money. I was re I reading an article the other day about an Indian man, a man from India. I think he, I can't remember his name now, but he's the man with all these um, steel plants all over the place, right? All these steel plants. He, he had one in Trinidad here too. I can't remember his name. He had one in Point Lisa. Ma making steel and things. And a friend called him and tell him, well, here we're going on. I want to give some children some wheelchairs. So he said wheelchairs. He said, in India, now, he's a, a fellow from India. And he, he's a rich man. As I said, I can't remember his name. So he yeah. came out. And he said, um, say, look, I'll go buy the wheelchair. How much you want? 15 wheelchairs? Whatever it is. He said, yeah, I want 15 wheelchairs. So he buy the 15 wheelchairs. Same. And he buy the 15 wheelchairs and thing now. And the fellow come and tell him, here what happened? You see them wheelchair and them, boy? You see them wheelchair on them. Um, I I am um, I want you to go and hand it out to the church. So the rich Indian fellow now up and say, "Go boy, 
He said, right, I'll go with you. I'll go and get the trainee wheelchair because it's he by it now. Yeah. When he went to this place now where they have all these children who needed the wheelchairs and things, he, 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 he gave her the wheelchairs and he watching them and a little boy who got a wheelchair come to him and tell him, God bless, you, bless me through you and because of you, I could walk and I'm so happy that God bless you. And may mm. God continue to bless you. A little boy mm -hmm. who, who needed a wheelchair, he said, may God continue to bless you. And God bless you. So that you could be a blessing to me. A little, little boy in India. in India. You know what the rich man say? The rich Indian? He say, you know, I now realize how, 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 how much I was missing in my life. I make wow. billions of dollars and I, was, yeah. I didn't feel as happy as when that little boy tell me. God, God bless him so that he could be a blessing to me. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I'm saying now is that he now he realized that the, the, the joy, the, he realized the joy that the reason. And then give in rather than get in. the amount yeah. of babes and suckling um, 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 children, you know, God, God, speak, God spoke to the man. No, the man life different. He said the happiest day of his life. He make his millions and, and, and thing and he was not, he ain't feel as happy as he was that day when he gave away the wheelchair. And he will, he will continue to, I'm telling you, I can't remember the man's name now. Nah. He might come in, but he, he was rich. And just like Matthew, or Matthew still like I given up. Because when, 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 you, when, when, when you make a sacrifice and you realize that God bless you to be a blessing to people, then you don't become attached to the resources, to the, the wealth you have. And yeah. that is what makes you happy. Right? And look at Mark 4 and 2, right? And he's just teaching them parables here. And the Bible says, And he taught them many things by parables and said unto them, In his doctrine, Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow. And it came to pass as he sowed, some fell on the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. Some fell on the stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up because it had no, de no, no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched. And because it, was, it had no root, it withered away. Verse 7, and some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. And it yielded no fruit. And the other fell on good ground, and they did yield fruit. That sprang up and increased, and brought forth some 30, some 60, and some 100 fold, right? So mm -hmm. what, 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 what is Jesus saying here? And what was he talking about? When the apostles asked Jesus, the disciples asked Jesus, that probably we understand that way. I mean, he said, The sower, the seed is the word. So Jesus, the, 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 the sower came and sowed the word. Mm -hmm. Some fell on, on, on stony ground, it didn't take root. Some mm -hmm. fell on, um, on, 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 on ground. ground fell on, on, um, on good ground and there bear fruit. He said that is the word. The, the last one now that, that, that had root and got choked up uh, said that is people who hear the word and they run with it mm -hmm. for a time but the cares of the world mislead them and they follow the cares of the world rather than the word that, that, that was spoken to them. The word yeah. of God is quick and true and sharper than a two-edged sword. Piercing as, asunder to the division of bone and marrow spirit and soul. It is a discern of the thoughts and intents of the heart. The word of God is that. Right? Why people follow Jesus? Some people follow for a blessing. People just go to church every Sunday because they want to get a blessing from God. And they don't mm -hmm. want to punish them. Mm -hmm. Some people go to church, as I say, to, for the excitement of going to church, the praise and worship. That the people who complain about the praise and worship are eh, 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 dead. Yeah. Praise and worship are eh, dead. It's an anointing. Because yeah. they go for the excitement. They go for the praise and worship. Some go now to contradict and to, and, and, to, and to find fault. But we and the apostles, there are many people who follow Jesus Christ, follow him because they know and they are sure that he is the Christ, son of the living God. Mm -hmm. That is why you have to follow Jesus Christ. And, 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 and he, he has the words to eternal life. You won't just die and you wouldn't follow all these, um, all these uh, set of different doctrine. Follow every doctrine and, and that come out there and, 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 and let people deceive you. Yeah. This is a time to know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. You understand what I'm saying? 
The truth is, yes. you have to follow Jesus Christ. You can't follow anybody that's been living in perilous times. Look, I watching a video today, a car drive inside a road somewhere in Maturita last night and shoot up people. You don't know mm -hmm. the people I'm inside with. I might just fo um, I'm falling inside a shoot. Look how many people just dying. Yeah. You know, people half at the time. And what are we yeah. doing? What are, are, are people doing? And people studying. Well, you know, um, you know, I, I just study my wealth, I just study this, I just study that. You have to, to ensure that and, and make sure, make your, your, your election sure. Make sure and work out your salvation in, in fear and trembling. Don't just follow religion and, 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 and people who preach it. You have to follow the man, Christ Jesus, and him crucified. Yeah. Who sits at the right hand of the Father, right? Who is seated high above all principalities and powers in heavenly places. And just as he is, so are we in Christ Jesus. That is where your life is. That is where eternal life is. Mm -hmm. You know? So yeah. that's my contribution. We can't just keep um, I'm running down wealth and all kind of thing. And next thing you know, it, it go and look, look at the world today. They yeah, will look at Russia. They couldn't spend their own money. And, and I think spend, Sarah. It had mm -hmm. a woman who, uh, after, um, no, this a president, another president, and Russia was going through a recession. And this woman does want to bring the economy back right up to the top. Russia was making real money. Them had billions of dollars, millions of dollars. Billions mm -hmm. in, in, in foreign reserve. And Russia had e the, the economy, people buying the oil, they're doing all kinds of things. Bomb to Russia now, they're gone. A Russia in a mess. You could be living up today, all them, all them oligarchs and all them fellas and them who are big ship. What are going on with them? They are no boat, they are no income. The, 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 the economy in a mess. The people rioting because they're taking people to carry them to a man going inside a um, uh, 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 area, a place uh, where they're training. And, and conscripts and, and conscripts those people let pull into train to go and fight um the war in ukraine man going and take a gun and shoot up a set of them inside the people so stressed out and they have them uh, in bondage now even if we live in in a communist country and, and under suppression we still have the freedom to worship god you know, because those yeah. things they go bother us paul said that i learned to abound whether I have uh, 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 whether I have or I suffer luck. And then he said I can do all things through Christ with strength and his money and finances yeah. and managing his finances he was talking about. Yeah. When he have he enjoy himself, when he do have he he, he still he, he still abound in, 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 in luck. Or whether I suffer luck or abound, whether I suffer luck or or, 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 or have, I can do all things through Christ with strength at me. So even if you're, if you're up to there and you feel you have money and you need Jesus Christ, partner, here we're going on. I have news for you. There's a new day coming. A lot mm -hmm. of stuff coming. Right? Some trust mm -hmm. in, in chariots and some trust in horses, but we trust in Jesus Christ and him crucified. Yeah. Yeah, and you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. So, as I say, I was blessed by a message. When, when I'm Jesus called, I just change up my suit. As a fact, I didn't change that mind, you know. When you preach that message on Sunday morning, and you just know it was a, like a confirmation to continue. Because since Thursday, I have I have all my notes prepared. Right? I my study, I just do a little tightening up. I didn't even have to study no notes or go through anything because I was outside in the yard holy. And when I finish, I come upstairs and I just run with it because it was in my spirit, it was in me. Yeah, yeah, I understand. As I don't really have to read sometimes I was read to read the scriptures because I don't want to quote wrong scripture. But mm -hmm. I don't have to read to speak because I already have the message in me and the discussion already is in me. I yeah. live in it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So why what man is Jesus Christ? Yeah. Why? Because yeah. he is the Christ, son of the living God. You know? You can miss opportunities. But in, in, in these days, I don't think, I don't want to miss any opportunities now. Sure. In these last days, I, I, if an opportunity come out, I get a call, I, I, I run with it. Yeah. I everything and running with it. Yeah, true. One day, all of I see with my father, and you get a phone call somewhere. And you go to Nigeria. Country. You go to Africa. Call, no, Nigeria, in, in, um, in Arabia. I say, sir, I, I couldn't call all in. I had to move fast. And I go, <laughs> anytime, 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 anytime I get the call, I go. On. Yeah. And he ain't call me with no soft call. Like, I'm, come and follow me. Hey, come here. Come here. <laughs> follow me. Huh. True. And then when you're going on, and, and when I get calls like that, you don't study how you're financing. Yeah, it's true. If the you Lord have, a, you have a piece about it. Yeah, you have a piece about it. If he call you, 
he will provide. Correct. So if you call and say go, if you, I, I tell you, I've, I've heard many I stories of people. The Lord tell them go here and stand by that corner when they reach there to do something. A man come and hand them exactly what they need to continue going. On. Yeah. But you don't hear a lot of those testimonies now because people are going to say like shipping as they're talking, but I don't care. God has used the foolish things of the world to confirm the wise. So if somebody feels they're wiser than me, they have more sense than me and they have more education and knowledge than me. Yeah. I don't mind. Yeah. I'm a fool for God if, in, if, if, if that is how we look at it. Yeah. And you know, mm -hmm. wisdom is the ability to apply the knowledge you have. But there are many people with knowledge, but they don't have wisdom. Because they have the knowledge and they can apply the knowledge. But those with yeah. wisdom now have knowledge. And as I say, if you look at the definition in the dictionary, wisdom is the ability to apply the knowledge. Mm -hmm. And if a lot of people in significant positions in this country right now had wisdom, they may have knowledge, but they don't have wisdom, the ability to apply the knowledge they have to the specific situations. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And the different challenges. Because you might have accountants and you might have economists. They have knowledge about the economy, but they don't have the wisdom to apply the knowledge they have to the economy. Yeah. And I can tell you that I've seen it happening every day. Yeah. So, that's my contribution. Yeah. It was good. It was just like a continuation for the past three weeks. Yeah. And, I um, I, 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 and if God is calling people, Jesus is calling people to him now, there must be a reason, eh? Correct. Is that urgent call? Eh? Yeah. Urgent it's like call? a move. It's like a come, move. Come now. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's, yeah. It may not unnecessarily be a move for a revival, but it's a move to protect people from going to hell, from being lost, from not having, yeah. not from being separated from God, from damnation. This call is a call not to bring revival to the church, but to get people to follow him. Mm -hmm. Because he's calling people, and if they don't, now, a lot of people are talk about judgment, right? How can someone be judged if they, 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 they don't hear the word? Yeah. But there are True. many people who hear in the word, and they're not heeding the call. Yeah. That is where, you know, as I always say, judgment is not going to hell. You know? Judgment is just a decision that the judge makes. Yeah. So when they say this judgment time, what they're saying, this is a time where decisions are being made. Yeah. <clears throat> so as far as the church and the world is concerned, this is judgment time. And not in the sense of an apocalypse, this is judgment time. This is a time <coughs> when decisions have to be made. There True. are many, many in the, in the valley of decision right now. And True. today I'm saying to many of you who can't decide, today is the day, this is the accepted time to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord. Yeah, I'm not going to lead anybody, you know, sinner's prayer, wherever it is, I don't have anything to do that. You just go to him yourself. You know your heart, and he's calling you. And when he's calling you, he always sends somebody to confirm the call you have on your life. Mm -hmm. Right? He always sends somebody to confirm, to say, but feeling like I want to, for, not go to church, you know. It's not like a feeling to go, a feeling to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord. Yeah. And Savior. Mm-hmm. Going to the church and go save you or help you. Go in and say any sinners praying or save you or help you. Never save anybody or help anybody. You have to repent. Change your mind from the way you're going and say, listen, I'm not going the way I'm going. I want to follow Jesus Christ. And I want to make him a Lord and Savior. That's all. Mm -hmm. And you just talk to him and say, Look, you know, learn to pray, you know. Just like why talking here, Lord, listen. I I I I want to follow you. I need some help. And you don't know that. Yeah, I I I to use no no big words or speak no proper English or, or whatever it is. Just say Lord, True. listen. True. He would know your heart. Mm -hmm. He knows people's heart. He know if they really want to follow him or not. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And the call is for everybody today. Why you yeah. why to follow Jesus? Why people follow Jesus? Because he is the Son of the Living God and He has the words of eternal life. That is why you have to follow him. Nobody Correct. else have the words to eternal life. Nobody mm -hmm. else. Nobody else was ever the son of the living God on this earth. And nobody else rose from the dead. Everybody dead and they never come back. Nobody yeah. descended to hell and took the keys to, to the underworld. Hey, this is the underworld. Right? To death. He have the keys to death. He has the keys to death. 
the other was Jesus have. So mm-hmm. if you feel you're sick and you're going to die, and you will die, once you accept him, you sh- you are going to live. You might just change this body. Right? Like, like, like I think about that, I seen, you know, people dying and things, everybody, I, I seen, I hear a set of death. People yeah. dying. So I say, when God call you, and it's time to die, how are you going to make out, boy? <laughs> how, are you going to, how are you going to make out? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hear what I seen. Boy, I see paradise already. I will make out real good because nobody had to tell me where to go. I know you where have I to, you even have time to think. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't even have me. time to think. Let me tell, yeah. tell you something. God do, does do anything unless He tells us people. Well, well the, uh, the Bible says prophets, but it's people, right? Mm-hmm. God will let people know when and they're ready to go. You know? He will let me know when they're ready to go. You go yeah. tell me, Eglan, you up now. Um, I'm going to call you. Catherine Coolman know the hour and the day she was going and die, you know. The yeah. time and the day, you know. Mm-hmm. Catherine Coolman. She tell the nurse, listen, at one something, I'm, 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 I'm going to be with the Lord on the on the on so and so date, right? So thing, and the nurse was there, the, the nurse accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and say, because she tell her when God coming to pick up. Right. And the whole hospital, the whole room was smelling of roses. Right? Mm-hmm. The whole room, the whole hospital smell, but well, well. My room and, and the whole place go smell like hair color, but I don't know. I guess it. <laughs> <laughs> I hair know, color, point, peroxide. Uh-huh. peroxide. The point I'm trying to make is God does tell us when we when when we're ready to go. He will let you know. Sarah, you know, upon a feel um it's time for you to go. He told Hezekiah when he was going to die. Many yeah. people know. Yeah. Many people know. He, he let his people know. He let his servants know how, how many calling them so he wouldn't leave here undone. That's why I'm not good to say that. You have, to, you have some loose ends to tie up. You tie it up and you go on. My mother knew. Because when she came out of the hospital, she said, Glenn, I want to go and wash my clothes first. She went home, go, go wash all her clothes. I went back and pick her up. She come home. She stopped eating. When she got there, she said, Lord, take me now. She knew she was going. She wasn't afraid. True. The only people who are afraid of death is people who are tied to this world. One mm-hmm, and the wealth mm-hmm. of the world, and two mm-hmm. people who don't know where they're going. Yeah, that is not that is not a mystery anymore. No, it may have been a mystery before Christ, but after Jesus Christ, and we know He took the, the, the keys to death, right? And He ascended to heaven. We know where we're going. Paul said it. Paul said, Here yeah. we're going on, partner. Paul, Paul said, You're going on. Look, I want to go, you know, but I feel it better if I stay with all you. I feel like I, I feel like I want to go to be with the but I feel it better if I stay here with all you. And Paul chose to stay, but then they call him out and they chop off his neck and they kill him or whatever it is. Chopping off this neck and nothing to do. I have a new body to collect with a better neck and a better head than this. Mm-hmm. You think the Bible says, don't fear the man who could hurt your body, but yeah. fear the man who could hurt, who could kill both body and soul. Yeah. That is all. Yeah. What you have to fear about, right? Look, you, you, you see how God has been providing. This is our time to accept the call from Jesus Christ. And I'm sure he's calling a lot of people because we would not have been speaking on the topics that we have been speaking in the last couple of weeks. So people who have been listening to us, who have been listening to us and getting the call and refusing to get the call because of religion or what people go say. or, or and It's not only thing is, 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 is what my family go say if, if I'm if I a Christian. What it are plenty Chinese and people from all over the world they, and their family they sold them, put them out. Some parents kill the the, the, the children in their Muslim countries, Afghanistan mm-hmm. and Pakistan, because they accept Jesus Christ. So what? It's better to live with him than to live in this life. You study what people say. You think I just study what people say? Mm-hmm. True. You think I don't know. I just study, mm-hmm. listen, I don't care what because even if you even if you accept Jesus Christ, they go still bad talking. So yeah, I don't tell you what nobody say. Yeah, true. So accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. This is the hour. This is the time. This is the day. Mm-hmm. This is the accepted time. I'm not going to lead anybody in prayer. You go to him yourself. That is why the veil on the temple was rent. The yeah. veil was rent so you could go straight to God. You don't need no priest. You don't need a priest. The yeah. three has it here. <laughs> After the veil in temple was rent, them Jews and they went and stitched it back up. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading in the historical document. 
They say when it be when it tell me was rent. They sold back up. The price died. They went and sold back up. So the people ain't gonna. Mm -hmm. You tell me 19 is 19 inches wide. They stitch up the whole thing and they put back up the veil in the temple. The religious mm -hmm. people stitch back the veil, but for us and for those out there who want to accept Jesus Christ, the veil was rent. You could go straight to God as Jesus Christ came and died here so that yeah. you don't need a priest yeah. or any religious person to go to Jesus Christ. Go for yourself. Go directly to him. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I I I I I will take a, a, a five now and, and, and call her George and if nobody can hear me, that's their business. Yeah, they did what he had to do. I see what I had to say. Um, this is the day. And you know, you said um, you know, you could just talk to talk to the Lord in your own words, like I was telling somebody at work this week self, Monday, today's Wednesday, Monday, I think. And I saying, I tell any person, I say, you know, I tell any Lord, I say, this what you will do me, boy. You know, I do X, Y, and Z, and this is what you will turn around and do me. He say, mm -hmm. so he tell me, he say, you know, sir, we can really talk to the Lord, so you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I tell them exactly how I talk to the Lord, right? It's a prayer. Is yeah. you prayer you speak into the Lord? However, it's communication, right? And I tell him, I just can't um convey it to him. I say, I tell him, the Lord, I say, that's what you go look to do me, boy. <laughs> but as we say, but, but when I talking about is a prayer. Mm -hmm. But the more intimate you become with the Lord, yeah, and go, His Father, our Father, Jehovah, the more intimate you will become with, with with them. Two things yeah. has happened. I'll tell you something. Two things has happened to me over the years. Number one is that I reverence Him more. When I say reverence, I'm speaking about respect. And I would talk yeah, to God. Yeah. To, mm -hmm. uh, respect his authority. And that's what I'm saying. Respect yeah. his authority. And two, mm -hmm. my prayer is no longer, it, it don't be formal. Because if I have an intimate yeah. relationship. Me too. Me too. God, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My prayer don't have to be formal. I don't have to talk to God like how people have prayed. Heavenly Father. We come before your throne of grace. And, then, and, and you're going on. <laughs> I not in that. I not in that kind of thing. I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't mean. Mm -hmm. Because as you just say, go in your closet. Mm -hmm. When I talk, I talk to God. Yeah. I talk, I say, the same I talk to you. Or, or as a matter of fact, when he talk to me sometimes, he, he I, I don't, there, there are certain times where the presence of the Lord hit. If I am praying or I with him and the presence of the Lord hit, mm -hmm. that is that time. I tell her no joking or nothing, you know. That, that, yeah. that, that is that time when he, all I could say is, woe is me. I am on unclean lips. Because when you get into the presence of that holy God, what is a holy God? You know? When I'm you get in the yeah. presence of a holy God, a holy God, Sarah, all your flesh, everything does be feel worthless. You don't even feel like God is your father. First, you're feeling worthless, and and in your flesh now, the sinful, the yeah. sinful nature, you know? because you yeah. still have the sinful nature. Yeah. And then when it is up now, I will talk back to him. I, I know we're talking, but there are certain times when you're in the presence of God, a very strong, tangible presence of God, right? You are made aware. It's not, it's not he, he condemning you, know? but mm -hmm. you are made aware of your sinful nature when you're in the presence of the Holy God. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah. It come like if you go to a wedding, and Jesus was talking about that. Mm -hmm. And you go to a wedding, you're going by to a wedding, but you're going to bust up jeans and short pants and do a mud on your foot, a whole slip, or whatever it is. But you're going by to a wedding as an honored guest. Yeah. And you go to this wedding as an honored guest, and you dress up in a whole pants, a bust up pants, a old, old pants that you won't even wear to go. So you have this old pants, you have a whole slip on your foot with mud on it, your hair on flop, you're smelling like a ram goat, right? And you're going uh, and you're going to be a back. You must and you see people dress, well dressed up, and you underdress. Mm -hmm. And you know how you guys feel when, when that happen? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Among everybody dress up and you, yeah. And you smell in and you yeah. dress up right. Well, I'll tell yeah. you, that is how I just feel when I in the presence of a holy God. I might be well dressed. I might be well dressed and wherever it is. And when I I I I I, I in, the, in the presence of God and you realize, God, 
I could imagine the stench she getting from me. Yeah. Being in the, in, I, I know with me. But yeah, true. I'm clothed in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. That is my right standing, but I still feel underdressed. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying in his presence? Yeah. yeah. And that is when you, and you start to reverence him like, 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 like you know, God. But then there are times in the presence of God now, and it's hey, Jesus, you know, Lord be talking and, and, and you're conversing. Yeah. You know, you're conversing with God. And you have that conversation and you're asking him for nothing. A lot of time you're asking him for no new car, new house, or money or not. All you want to do is just enjoy the company of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Just enjoy his company. And you don't want True. to come out from it. True. And when the anointing left, you're vexed. You say, God, Lord, I'm ready. And they yeah. want to, and then say, okay, but for an hour, one and a half, you, you, you will grow. You, you know, you're basking in the glory. And then I want our next audience with the Lord, yes? Mm -hmm. So you make an appointment now. You say I could fast next week Wednesday, so we could. I, I want to make an appointment with you, Lord. I could fast if I fast on next week Wednesday. I want to fast next week Wednesday, so yeah. I will put the flesh aside. Yeah, yeah. So that is it, yes. Yeah, and you know I was telling the same person Monday who was having a discussion with him, Luca, because he was telling me he went on vacation and um whatever he had to do, he didn't get it done. He was because he's a he's a Christian as well too. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, a mature person, and he said, um, you know, he was so frustrated. He said, I come back to work on my neck hurting, man. It's real anxiety. And knowing this person, he's really like a calm, reserved, um, like nothing about it, really. Mm -hmm. If you know him, you know, very calm and collective. And I said, you know something? My dad is always saying on his life that we... We running at a pace. We running at a pace. Whether it's a fast pace or whatever, we running at a pace. And the enemy knows the pace that we running at to keep up with us. And then, bam, what the Lord does is slow us down so that the enemy lose, lose us on the way. And then looking for us all over the place. And he, the enemy lost us, right? But then we in our flesh now question the pause, question the whole back, questioning the, the delay, mm -hmm. right? And he stopped and he said, no, Sarah, I take in that, you know. I take in that, you know. <laughs> he said, well, whatever he was doing, if it was a project, I don't know what, what it was. He said, I'm behind time, you know. I'm behind time. I took vacation to get this thing done. And like, he come back to work more stressed. Mm -hmm. You know, he said, but I take in that, you know. I take in that. You know, and I want to say to whoever out there as well, too, we are running at a pace. You're running, you're running, getting things done, you're running, the enemy keeping up with us. Right? And then the Lord is just slow you down for a time for the enemy to lose you. Yeah, you know? he just run ahead. I, I, he, 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 he run ahead. And, and we thinking, and we thinking it's a delay because we have deadlines to meet. We have goals. <laughs> we have goals. You know? But the same way but he just puts you up time fast, in, he, he just, the same way that he's going to he's, to cover he's ground that time. and redeem the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But see, sometimes the enemy know where you're going. Sometimes the enemy know where you're going. And and it, and they suspect where you're going. But you see, a man led by the spirit is like the wind. Yeah. No one knows where he goes or from whence he comes. So you have to stop in situations like that and get the mind of the Holy Spirit. And say, so, you know, I'm wait. Because sometimes you want to rush and get ahead. Sure. You want to get this done, get that done. Sometimes you say, just wait. Those who wait on Christ will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not sin. So sometimes we wait on him. We wait. We stand yeah. and wait until he come up and say, all right, move now. Because yeah. the, 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 the Israelites in the, in, the, in the wilderness, they couldn't move ahead of the cloud. Because if they move ahead of the cloud now, who move ahead of the cloud, they, they would be in the sun. Yeah. And those who move in the, the, the cloud in the day, and those who move ahead of the cloud in the night, or lag behind, they would be in the dark. Yeah. You, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you had to wait on the cloud. Yeah. So that's so, it. That's a wrap. Yeah. 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 All right. So we'll just close with a word of prayer, and um, then we'll end the broadcast. So, yeah. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your word this afternoon, oh God. We thank you for the reminder, oh God, why 
do people serve you, God, Lord? Why do we even follow you, Heavenly Father? And Lord God, we just pray for, um, you know, your people out there. Lord, they are your people, whether they are saved or unsaved. They still belong to you, God, Heavenly Father. We declare that tonight to God, Lord. And we pray, God, Lord, that their hearts will turn to you tonight. Those who are doubting, those who are looking for the one and true living, God, that they, oh God, Lord, will find you tonight, oh God, Lord. And Heavenly Father, let them know that they can come and present themselves to you as they are, Lord, and speak to you in their very own words, O oh God, Lord. Even if they can't speak and all they have to do is just weep, Lord, you understand the language of our hearts, you know our minds, because you see, Lord, you made us, Lord, and you know our likes from our dislikes. You know our deepest, darkest desires, O oh God, Lord, and Heavenly Father, let them know that when they're coming to you, that, that they, are, uh, they are accepted and they can speak to you, just like how they speak to their family and just like how they speak to their friends tonight. I pray that you go and meet them in their place of need tonight, to oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Before we close, I just want to wish Linda a happy birthday. Mm -hmm. um, tomorrow, mm -hmm. 20th of, um, 20th of October. October. She'll mm -hmm. be 17 years old. 17? So, okay. Yeah, 17. Happy um, birthday, Linda, too, from all of us here at Scala Thread Ministries and Sudan's <clears throat> 2000 Limited. Yeah, happy birthday. We, just like, we just like to wish you a, a very happy birthday. Keep looking as good as you are. We love you. And um, do enjoy your entire day. And I hope it is a special one celebrated with your family and your friends and, you know, everybody who's around you near and there. Yeah. Yeah. So so she hit an um a double some double digits tomorrow. So let me just say right. <laughs> <laughs> she can some yeah. double digits. Yeah. So that is what's going on, yeah. And let's just so, say twin twin numbers now. Twin numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll leave it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it. Don't go for that. Yeah. Next thing we'll, yeah, get... we'll just leave yeah. we'll yeah, we'll just leave it. Too much information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people yeah. enjoy enjoy the rest of your your, your period. You always when Monday. The holidays Monday, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Sunday you always. Safe out there. I think they celebrating the Wali Sun Monday. I think. Or anyway. whoever, yeah, you know, be safe out there and your we, holiday and your long weekend. Yeah, we 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 are followers of Jesus Christ. Um, we are we are, we we are disciples and servants of Jesus Christ, but. God created man in his own image and likeness. And I would like to extend, because we wouldn't have any um, meetings before, I'd like to extend the Wali greetings to the Hindu community. And mm -hmm. I would like to say Shub Wali to all our, our Hindu um, friends and family out there. Yes. And have a safe and enjoyable one. Mm -hmm. Right, and you always see us back again on Sunday. Please go for our Sunday morning service at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. And um, in the meantime, just know why people follow Jesus Christ, right? Mm -hmm. If it is you missed the broadcast, just look at it as we end it. We don't delete any of the broadcasts. All of them are here for your reference, for your listening, for your learning, right? So do enjoy the rest of your night. Um, I know I didn't play any songs last week. So I will be playing Advice from Me Heart tonight and um we will close with that it's written and sung by our very own my dad right here anthony glenn dawson and do enjoy stay strong be blessed we love you all and you always see us back again on sunday please god bye for now bye I sit down to write a gospel lip so Cause I hear it too much smart on the radio Right from the start I make up my mind The past never singing about no drum and wine I write a song just to win a crown But to edify the love and to make you strong Who don't want to hear well then they go feel The adversary come to kill and to steal I want my friends and them go to hell 
When Basil come and start to ring up the bell I hope you don't mind, I'm trying to give advice The only way to make it is to follow Christ He came down here to show all of us the way So we wouldn't have no problems or judgment In these days with knowledge on the increase We got to guard against the mark of the beast The earth is full of violence and full of hate We must be patient and keep the faith Let not your heart be troubled, you must be bold Though the love of many people wax in coal Man look up and don't you submit to fear It's just your redemption that's drawing near And I hear what my friends and then go to hell Basil come and start to ring up the bell I hope you don't mind, I'm trying to give advice The only way to make it is to follow Christ He came down here to show all of us the way So we wouldn't have no problems on judgment day Said in his heart that there is no God The beginning of wisdom is fear of the Lord Look how much should quick hurricane and flood It's time to repent and get under the blood I'm telling you my friends, look all your air blind The days we live in it is the end of time You can try to run but you cannot hide Very soon the groom coming for the bride And I hear what my friends and them go to hell When Basil come and start to ring up the bell I hope you don't mind, I'm trying to give advice The only way to make it is to follow Christ He came down here to show all of us the way So we wouldn't have no problems on judgment If things so bad you feel there's no hope You want to give up because you just can't cope No matter how you try it's failure and distress Do your sacrifice and you try your best I want you to remember the man from the cross He came down here so far, now he is the boss Don't forget the pain may last for one night And the darkest hour comes right before the light Lord, I hear what my friends and them go to hell When Basil come and start to ring up the bell I hope you don't mind, I'm trying to give advice The only way to make it is to follow Christ He came down here to show all of them the way So they wouldn't have no problems on judgment day I am the pastor And I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper And any tongue that rises in judgment against you, you will condemn. For that is the inheritance of the children of God. Be strong. <laughs>